if you need very low compression set and fluid resistance in fuels and oils, Peroxide Curable FKM with proper coagent is a workhorse, but it almost always needs a hot post-cure to finish the network and drive off volatiles. Bisphenol cures are common for certain architectures, giving excellent sealing in aggressive media with good compression set. Silicone is almost a cure system case study. Peroxide for general use with a mandatory post-cure when outgassing or taste and odor matter. Platinum addition for medical and food, where extractables must be minimal. Condensation for RTVs, where room temperature cure and adhesion are the priorities. Applications and service conditions either confirm your pick or force a change. If the part must live at elevated temperature for years, peroxide networks generally keep their properties better because CC and CO crosslinks do not unzip the way polysulfides can under heat. If the part sees high dynamic strain, flex, and crack growth, sulfur-rich networks in NR or SBR handle cyclic fatigue like champs. If compression set at 150 Celsius is a pass-fail gate for a seal, peroxide-cured HNBR or FKM will save your design record. If the compound must meet low extractables or taste and odor standards in medical or food, Platinum Cure Silicone takes the front seat because peroxide byproducts can migrate and sulfur chemistry can leave residues. If you are bonding to metal, check your adhesive system and primer chemistry because some bond systems assume sulfur network formation while others are happier with peroxide and coagent rich surfaces. If your part has to be non-conductive, watch carbon black loading in any cure system. If you need static dissipation or conductivity, you will likely push reinforcing blacks above the percolation and then tune cure to hit both electrical and mechanical targets. There are also practical plan considerations that quietly dominate real decisions. Do you have the ability to post cure parts at a control high temperature to drive off peroxide byproducts or complete FKM crosslinking? If not, Choose a cure system and polymer that meets specs straight out of the press. Do you have nitrosamine restrictions on accelerators? That immediately narrows your sulfur accelerator choices and may push you towards safe accelerator packages or towards peroxide if regulations are tight. Are you molding thick sections? Peroxide can be wonderful in thick parts due to true cure and compression set but you must control exotherm and add time for heat penetration.